Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna go over Paul Code 436418, NOX conversion efficiency low. This fault code can show up on a truck with a DD13, 15, or 16. This also covers trucks with after treatment systems meeting the standards of EPA 10 and GHG 14. So, hope you guys learned something. Make sure to subscribe to us if you're not subscribed to us yet. Also, if you got a question or concern about your truck, please leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to help. Let's get right into this video. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Okay guys, so why is your truck triggering the fault code NOX conversion efficiency low? I just want to give you a quick description on what's going on here. The SCR system is basically just a mixing chamber where DEF is injected. There's two sensors reading the inlet and outlet. The outlet needs to be below the inlet reading. That's just a basic understanding of what this system is doing. Now this video is talking about the actual fault code, so I'm just going to move over into what the next step that we take into finding what your problem is. Okay guys, so the next step that we take in troubleshooting this fault code is we check to see if you have any engine related faults. If you have any engine related faults, troubleshoot those first. If there's no engine related faults, we move over to looking at the DEF system. Now you want to use test strips to make sure it's not contaminated and also it's, it's recommended that you use a refractometer to make sure it's not diluted. If, none of, if it's not diluted and, it, and it's not contaminated, we look at the actual quantity coming out of the system. Uh, two, there's two different types of systems for the DD15. You're going to have one that's air over DEF and there's also going to be one that uses a motor to transfer the DEF from the DEF tank to the, to the SCR chamber. Okay, so when we remove the nozzle, what we're going to be looking for is any buildup. Uh, you can see a little bit of buildup on the outside of this particular system here. So that shows that we were having some leakage. Whenever you have any leaks like that, DEF is not making it to the actual mixing chamber. And so that's why you're going to have low uh, conversion efficiency. So that is just one, one reason why you would have that fault. Uh, there's some other items that, that would happen if you say, for instance, you're not leaking like this. Uh, the DEF quality is good. Uh, in some cases, you can have some buildup inside the chamber. So in this particular case, we are cleaning these filters on this truck because it's due for on the interval. So when we have the filters off, we were able to look into the mixing chamber to see if there's any excessive buildup. If you have excessive buildup of DEF, it's not going to give you some accurate readings. So it's going to throw this fault code. Uh, the, the only way to fix that, if you, if you have a lot of excessive buildup, you're going to put a, have to put an awning on the system, which is basically like an apron to keep the system from uh, spraying it or spraying it correctly so it doesn't cause buildup. So that's, those are items right there that we're covering on this particular fault because we don't want to uh, make sure, we want to make sure that we're not changing out sensors uh, and we have not enough delivery going into the system. So uh, that's the next step that we take there. Um, next, we're going to go over if we don't have any issues with the after treatment system, uh, uh, excuse me, if we don't have any issues with DEF coming into the system, uh, we don't have any buildup, everything looks good. The last thing that we're going to be doing is actually doing tests on the NOX sensors. Okay, um, so we're going to be moving on to that next. Basically, what we're going to be doing there is disabling the DEF delivery system running a test to look at the readings of the NOx so since we're not since we don't have any DEF injected in the system we don't have any excess buildup inside the DEF or SCR chamber we run those tests and we're looking at the differences between those sensor, those sensors now those sensors should not be more than 50 50 ppms apart uh, if they are then the PSL recommends that we move over to changing in the inlet retest uh, if we have the same readings, changing the outlet. Okay, so if if you have the readings, uh, say for example, your 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 system's doing the same, uh, you're getting you're getting good readings. You're, they're not they're not more than 50 ppm's apart. Then at that point, you may have to look into replacing this box. So what, although that's very rare, uh, it's you have to get these troubleshoot troubleshot correctly because if the technician is not 
going through those procedures while they're troubleshooting this particular fall code, that it can be very expensive and time consuming. Okay guys, so those are the steps that we take when troubleshooting 436418. I hope you guys learned something. If you got any questions or concerns about your truck, please leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to us and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. So until next time guys, be safe.